The day they signed their divorce papers, Emma and Ryan felt a strange mix of emotions, sadness, relief, and even a sense of freedom. Their marriage had been on life support for so long that the official end, although painful, brought a sense of closure. They had spent years trying to fix what was broken, putting an effort where love once was, but ultimately, they realized their connection was no longer enough. They had been young when they met, excited by shared dreams and the idea of forever, but as time passed, those dreams slowly faded. They grew into different people, with different goals, different perspectives on life, and a communication gap that only widened with time. What once felt like home now felt like a distant memory, and although the decision to divorce was mutual, it was still a hard one to make, especially when they thought about all the good moments they had shared. After the divorce, Emma threw herself into her work. Starting her own marketing firm was a challenge, but one that she took on with determination. She poured all her energy into growing her business, spending late nights perfecting strategies and meeting new clients. Slowly, her efforts paid off, and she gained success. But as time passed, she began to realize that the success she had dreamed of building alongside Ryan now felt hollow. She had once imagined a life where they both would thrive together, but now her accomplishments didn't seem as sweet without him by her side. Despite the growth of her career, a quiet longing remained. Emma often found herself reflecting on their past, asking herself questions about their marriage. Did she try hard enough to make it work? Was she too focused on her career? The answers never came but the sense of loss remained, tucked away in the back of her mind. Ryan, in contrast, had followed a different path after the divorce. He sold the business that had once been the heart of their shared dreams. The decision had been difficult, but necessary for his personal growth. He moved to a new city, seeking a fresh start. In his new environment, Ryan threw himself into the world of real estate, embracing new challenges and trying to build a life that was his own. He dated, met new people, and tried to move on, but no one ever seemed to fill the space Emma had left in his heart. There were brief moments of connection with others, but the depth of the bond he had shared with her was something he couldn't replicate. Even though he had convinced himself that their marriage was a chapter that had closed, there were still moments when he would think of her, of their time together, and feel a deep, unshakable sadness. It was at a large networking event for entrepreneurs that fate intervened, bringing Emma and Ryan back into each other's lives. Emma had attended many of these events over the years, always with a professional mindset searching for new clients or potential business partnerships. She had grown used to navigating these gatherings with ease, keeping her personal life at bay. But this time, as she scanned the crowded hall, her gaze landed on a familiar face across the room, Ryan. He was standing there, looking more confident than she remembered, his smile still as warm as ever. For a moment, Everything else seemed to fade away. She froze, unsure of what to do. She had moved on, he had moved on, so why did this moment feel like a chapter from her past suddenly rushing back? After a brief hesitation, something pushed her to take the first step toward him, despite the uncertainty that flooded her mind. Ryan called her name softly, as though unsure if she would even remember him. His voice had a familiar warmth, but there was a hesitation, as though he was testing the waters. Emma's heart skipped a beat at the sound of her name on his lips. It had been five years, yet it felt as if time had stood still for just a moment. She wasn't sure how to respond, how to bridge the gap that had widened over the years. She had always remembered the way Ryan could make her feel safe, heard, and loved, but now, there was a sense of distance between them that was hard to ignore. 
When she met his gaze, she saw a mix of emotions, nostalgia, curiosity, and perhaps even a little regret. Ryan, she said softly, as if the name alone could somehow make sense of the unexpected rush of feelings that flooded her. Neither of them spoke more, but the recognition between them was unmistakable. As they sat down for lunch, the initial awkwardness slowly began to fade. It was clear that both of them had changed since their divorce, and the conversation took on a new dynamic. They spoke about their careers, the paths they had chosen after their separation, and the personal growth they had experienced. Emma was genuinely interested in hearing about Ryan's new real estate ventures, and he, in turn, wanted to know more about her marketing firm and the challenges she had faced in building it. It wasn't just business talk, though, it was the way they listened to each other with a depth that suggested something more. They filled in the gaps of their lives, catching each other up on the years they had spent apart. There was an unspoken understanding, a mutual respect that hadn't been there before. It was as though they were no longer strangers, but two people trying to understand what had once made them so close. After hours of talking, Emma couldn't hold back the question that had been lingering in her mind since they first made eye contact. What happened to us? She asked softly, her voice filled with the weight of years of wondering. The question wasn't accusatory, it wasn't about placing blame, but rather a genuine inquiry into what had gone wrong. Ryan sighed deeply, his eyes flicking down to his drink for a moment before he met her gaze. I think we were both so focused on building a life that we thought we wanted, he began, we lost sight of what we actually needed from each other. Emma nodded, understanding the truth in his words. She had been so focused on her career, on proving herself, that she hadn't taken the time to check in with him, to see if he was truly happy. Their relationship had become more about expectations than about the connection that had once brought them together. Ryan's confession hit Emma like a wave. I never stopped loving you, Emma, he said, his voice steady but filled with emotion. There was no mistaking the sincerity in his words. Emma would often wondered if Ryan ever still thought about her, if he regretted the end of their marriage as much as she did. Hearing him say it out loud was both comforting and heartbreaking. It was as if all the pain and confusion of the past five years were being acknowledged, validated. She had loved him deeply, and though she had tried to move on, that love had never truly disappeared. The ache she had buried deep inside her now surfaced, and she whispered back, I never stopped loving you either. It was a simple sentence, but it carried the weight of everything they had been through, every moment of doubt, every wish for what could have been, and every hope that maybe, just maybe, they could find their way back to each other. From that day onward, Emma and Ryan began to spend more time together. They started working together, collaborating on business projects and ventures, but something more was happening beneath the surface. As they worked side by side, they rediscovered the parts of each other they had lost over the years. They laughed more, shared more, and gradually began to bridge the emotional distance that had once seemed so impossible to cross. The more they worked together, the more they realized that the love they had shared was still there, it had never really disappeared. It had been buried under hurt, misunderstandings, and the pressures of life, but now, they were uncovering it piece by piece. Working together allowed them to communicate in a way they hadn't been able to during their marriage. They found themselves sharing their thoughts, their dreams, and their fears, and slowly, they began to rebuild the trust that had been lost. In the end, Emma and Ryan realized that love wasn't a fixed thing, it wasn't something you found once and held on to forever without effort. Sometimes, love takes time to grow, to evolve, and to find its way back to you. They had been through so much together, 
and they had learned the hard way that love needs constant attention, understanding, and patience. Their journey together had been complicated and filled with both joy and pain, but it was also a story of rediscovery. They had both grown, changed, and learned valuable lessons about themselves, their needs, and what it takes to build a lasting relationship. When they looked at each other now, they saw not just the people they once were, but the people they had become. They were ready to give their love another chance this time with a deeper understanding, a stronger bond, and the willingness to never let go again.